<clears throat> Thank you, Pat. Thanks for doing this. Very important uh, issues that we're focusing on here. I want to follow on with what uh, Senator Kennedy focused on because the biggest drag on the U.S. economy right now involves the rising energy costs that working families across our country are having to deal with. And this is purely a self-inflicted wound by the Biden administration and our working families are having to pay for it. Again, it bears repeating, day one, this administration focused on shutting down the production of American energy, stopping and slow rolling American energy infrastructure, strong arming financial institutions not to invest in American energy, particularly in my state, the great state of Alaska, nominating federal officials in positions across the government who have hostility to producing more American energy, openly hostile, in begging dictators to fill in the gap and produce energy for us. Now, the president keeps saying he is doing everything he can to address this energy problem. You've seen prices go from the beginning of the Trump administration, uh, the beginning of the Biden administration, first day in office, $2.38 at the pump. Uh, right now, it's $4.23 average, two bucks a gallon, crushing American families. So the president's saying, I'm doing all I can. That's fundamentally not true. Just in the past 10 days, past 10 days, the president issued a new NEPA regulation that was clearly intended to slow roll American energy infrastructure. I'm going to be introducing with several of my colleagues a Congressional Review Act to reverse that. I think you're going to see a lot of our fellow Democrats probably join us. I know that the building trades of America, the men and women who build stuff, are very interested in joining us. And then just last week, the president took half of the National Petroleum Reserve of Alaska, NPRA as we call it back home, off the table for development. This is an area that's not controversial, set aside decades ago by Congress for oil and gas development, probably the most prolific oil producing region of any place in the world. And the president took it off the table last week, half of it. I'll tell you who's smiling, Vladimir Putin and the radical enviros. None of this makes sense. None of it makes sense. The results are completely predictable. Higher energy prices on the backs of working families, pink slips for American energy workers, empowering adversaries, and the American people want to produce more energy. A recent poll had over 60 percent of Americans saying we need to produce more American energy. What, so what, why are they doing this? Why the hostility? I think Senator Kennedy said it right. This is purposeful. This is purposeful. Go to the White House. Ask them. Aren't you purposely driving up energy prices? These policies are, and I think like so much else with the Biden administration, it is the same old tired story. The president's policies are driven by the far left of the Democratic Party. That's what's happening. Right now you have Ukrainian grandmothers standing up to Russian tanks. And Joe Biden can't stand up to the far woke left of his own party, and the American people are suffering very much because of it.